Hi, and in this Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use macros in Word. Now, for those of you who don't know what macros are, it's basically a way of shortcutting a number of different processes that you might do frequently throughout your document. So, for example, a macro can be a, something as simple as aligning your text. So, for example, if I was to highlight this text and go up to bold, that in itself is a macro. It's telling Word to do something very quickly and efficiently. But the idea of macros is actually to join a series of those sort of actions together and assign it to a shortcut key. So let me show you and it'll become clear. So in order to do it, you have to record it. You have to record your action. So go up to Tools, go down to Macro and click Record Macro. Then go to the keyboard in the centre and then assign your shortcut key. Now this can be a shortcut key that's already assigned to something you actually don't use or you can find a new shortcut key. I'm going to use Command or Control N. This is already assigned but I never use this particular shortcut so I'm just going to assign this one. And then I'm going to click OK. Now once I've clicked OK, you can see that my cursor has got a little scroll next to it and that means it's going to record any of the actions that I currently do from here on until I stop recording. So all I'm going to do is highlight a word, then I'm going to put a board around it, so I'm going to go to this icon here and then I'm going to go to outside borders, then I'm going to go up to this icon here and change the colour And then I'm going to go along and change it to italics. And the reason I've done that is just to show you three different processes that might take you a little bit of time to do throughout your document. Once you're finished, go back up to Tools, go back down to Macro, and go to Stop Recording. Now once you've stopped recording, nothing else will happen. Your cursor will go back to the default, and you'll be left with your adjustments. To test it out, just highlight another word in your document, press your shortcut key, which mine was Command or Control N, and you can see that macro works brilliantly. Now, if you decide that that macro is not for you or the shortcut key is incorrect, then just go back up to Tools, Go down to Macro, go to Macros, and you can see your macro appears here. Go down to this minus button here, click on it. Do you want to delete macro? Click Yes, and then just click Close. So once you've done that, you're free to use that shortcut key all over again to develop another set of actions. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, Please subscribe and have a great day.